Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about microscopes. In particular, we're going to be focusing on the light microscope and the electron microscope. So let's look at some differences between them. First of all, in terms of magnification, also known as the zooming power, electron microscope is much stronger at magnifying objects. Then resolution, or how much detail you can see between different points, again, is higher in the electron microscope. Now, another key difference is that an electron microscope uses a vacuum, which means there's no air whatsoever inside here. So any specimen will instantly die. On the other hand, a light microscope does not require a vacuum. So that means a specimen can continue living after they've been observed. This is what you would see if you look down a light microscope. So we can see the outside of the cells and we can see the largest organelle, which is the nucleus. If you want to see more detail, we have to go and use an electron microscope. So with an electron microscope, you can see objects in 3D and you can see inside cells. So this is a mitochondria. If you try to use a light microscope, you probably wouldn't even see it. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about some of the different components of a light microscope. This is the eyepiece lens. We have objective lenses over here and you can have different power objective lenses. The rough and fine focusing knobs help to make the image clearer and easier for the scientist to see. Now, if you look in this area, we can see that we have a stage. A stage is where you put the specimen, which is on the slide. Now to clip it on and make sure it doesn't move, we have to use the clips. Finally, over here we have a light source. And the reason this is called a light microscope, not because it weighs less, but rather because it uses light to shine through the specimen and make it visible to the observer. Okay, so to use a light microscope, the first thing we have to do is start with the lowest power objective lens. Then we use the rough focusing knob to move the stage up and down, followed by the fine focusing knob to make the image clearer. And finally, you can use a stain to help visualize your specimen. A final point on magnification. So let's say the eyepiece lens has a times five magnification and the objective lens is times 100. That means your total magnification is going to be a product of both values. So in this case, it will be times 500. Okay, so I hope you learned about light and electron microscopes. In the next video, we'll talk about some calculations involving magnification. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.